Hey guys, Nick with Fami here. And for news today, we're taking a look at the Samsung Galaxy Beam, Google Play, and new products from Apple. First up, it's the Samsung Galaxy Beam. It looks just like a regular Android phone, but it comes with a Pico projector built right in. Even with the extra hardware, it's only 12.5 millimeters thick, but the brightness only goes up to 15 lumens. So don't expect this feature being used much for presentations or movies. The projector has 640 by 360 resolution, while the Super AMOLED display on the phone itself comes with 800 by 480 resolution. It also comes packed with a 1 GHz dual core processor, 768 megabytes of RAM, 5 megapixel camera on the back, and a 1.3 megapixel camera on the front. Surprisingly, the Galaxy Beam will come with the outdated Android 2.3 gingerbread OS instead of ice cream sandwich, expected to be released within a few months. Next up on the plate is the Android market. Google on Tuesday announced that they would be renaming the service to Google Play. It comes after reports that Google Music and other services haven't performed too well. The rollout has already started, and with Google Play, you can store up to 20,000 songs for free, download almost half a million apps, purchase ebooks, movies, and more after they finish combining them. Google is also offering specials on albums, books, and videos every day for seven days next week. Check the link below to watch a video and find out more. And making headlines is the new iPad. It's not really new since it does feature the same design as the iPad 2, but it does have the highest resolution for any mobile device because of its Retina screen. There aren't too many new features other than the display, and notable upgrades include a faster A5X processor, 5 megapixel camera on the back, and 4G LTE on certain models. Alongside the March 16th launch date of the new iPad is the upgraded Apple TV, which costs $99 and features support for 1080p videos and a revamped iOS-based interface. Not too many changes, but it runs on a single core A5 processor to help stream media off iCloud. It's not the ITV as some were expecting, but Apple should make an announcement on that sometime this year, once they work out issues regarding display distribution. And that's all the news for today. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out Pharma.com for the latest accessories for your device.